Abby. You can't see me, you just hear me, which I'm sure is pretty freakish. There's Einstein, though. We'll, we'll let you look at him for now. And Madison, hi. All right. So, good morning. Is that in my head? What am I hearing? It's not is that my phone. Oh, got it. Okay. It's not my thing. This wasn't in my head. Sometimes I hear things. Playing drums for 35 years, just start hearing things. I got hit in the head on Tuesday. I was out doing my uh, my, my, my cross training class that I take with Jenny Crickshank. And uh, part of it was we were playing soccer. And I got one of the Haley in that class just beating the ball. I was. She was about where Isaac was, and I was here, and I said, oh, and it was one of those slow motion things, like I saw the ball coming towards my face, and then it beamed me in the side of the head, and it, it went, and like I heard that high pitch, like squealing, like a T-Rex, and I hit the ground, and I was like seeing stars, seeing stars, and the next thing I heard, I heard my friend Jessica, who takes the class with me, going, okay, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay? Why are you yelling at me? Because my hearing went away for a second and came back, so wouldn't be surprised if I did hear something. That sounded like, like, like music. It wasn't like noise. Dance. Okay. Uh, week three. Whoa. Don't forget the journals for Friday. Journal for Friday. Uh, don't forget, I guess I said for Friday, just journals. 105 of those stuff. You're not 105 yet. Yet. We get you next term. <laughs> um, yeah, so we should make sure that gets in by today and tomorrow. Everything else we'll do in class today. And then we'll carry on this class. How's the homework? What was the homework? I totally forgot what the homework was. Oh, it was the follow-up to the project. Yes! Did we get them? We got them. We got them. Was it, did you find yourself having to use the new rules, like the factorial and the square root? Which one did the factorial help out with? 19. 19 helped out with 19? Yeah. Oh, good. Let me see. 19. So 19. We had to make 19. Layla. Oh, and 13 as well? Nice. Let me see if I can. And 12? And 14? And 11. Oh, good. Good. So that factorial worked for all of those. Fantastic. Not right now. But yes, soon. Good. Somebody give me an example. Like, give me 19. How, how did you do 19? I'm going to guess you did 4 factorial, right? Because that makes 24. Minus four, I see it. I think I see it anyway. Minus four over four. Yeah. yeah, there it is. So how many of you, as you were kind of working through this, realized you could make fours become other things by, yes, exactly. That was kind of the fun of the project, was making you kind of think, like, if I have two fours, I can make them one four. Did anybody use this trick in the, in the, in the homework? The square root of four times four is just four? I know. You might not have had to. I'm just saying, I, I was talking through this with some other students and they realized that, because the square root of 16 is four, but you can write 16 as four times four, so that can become, okay, nobody used this, I'm gonna stop talking about it. That's okay, I just, I mean, as long as it's low, whatever you did is fine, I just didn't mean. Just, and you use the square root as well? Square roots, yes, yeah, square roots, factorial. Good, 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 good. So I'm gonna return your labs to you. You got 25s on those regardless of how many you got in class yesterday, and then this will be the tail end of that. Um, I did give you some choices. Hey, Dan, it's good to see you. So I gave you some choices. I said rule four was square roots, rule five was a factorial. Did anybody use rule six, the Hail Mary? We did, we made a Hail Mary too. Like I can't figure anything else out, I'm gonna make up my own rule. It's fine. So the last question there was, which of the new rules seems the most fair or the least fair, and I let you decide what fair meant. So tell me, which one seemed the most fair? Square root, factorial, or Hail Mary? Isaac. Uh, I like the square roots because um, it, it follows basically the same thing we did in class, so it's keeping up with the pattern of four fours. I like it, I like it. Okay, cool, so square root seems the most fair. Joshua. Instead of they're all fair, because they all use equations, but that the Hail Mary was least fair because it's that's, yeah, and that's, that's why I put fair in quotes, because fair means different things to different people, which is why it's one of those subjective things, right? It's subjective. It's not objective. Like, objective, 4 times 4 is 16. There's no wiggle around that. It's what it is. But if you get to pick your own rule, it's like you're building a black box to make something happen, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. That can be a good thing, mathematics. It's kind of how math happens. 
that it kind of, yes, it's also kind of, kind of a lot of other things happens. Do we have any guitar players in here? I feel like I've asked this before. Any guitar players in the room? No? So I, I play a little guitar, and I have these things called effects pedals that you can run an electric guitar through, or any, any electrical signal. You can put a microphone through it, or a drum signal through it, and you step on the pedal, and it changes the tone that's coming through and does something to it. We call it a black box or an effects box. It's the same thing as the Hail Mary pass. You can make a guitar sound like three guitars. Is that fair? Well, that's a loaded question. What does fair mean? Have you ever seen somebody use a looper pedal? When I say that, somebody's performing on the guitar, and they step on a pedal, and then they stop playing, and you keep hearing what they're playing, playing, and then they play something else, and then they stop playing that, and then you hear both things. So they record over themselves. Is that fair? That's a stupid question. What is fair? So that's why fair's in quotes. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. Some people feel like, Using them as cheating, which I think is kind of crazy. Like, if it's a tool, use the tool wisely. Good. Which one was least fair if you had to pick? Least fair. Joshua voted for the Hail Mary because it seems like you can just, you can just avoid math, but you also had a very good point. That's kind of how math got discovered. Anybody else feel anything was least fair? I Jules, yeah? I couldn't really figure out rule five, so I didn't think it was fair to apply it. Oh, that's totally fine. So let's, let's make sure we understand what rule five is. Right. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Because I think Rule 5, I think at least the math of Rule 5 is in your journal this week, yeah? I think. It was the journal 3, yeah. Yes, so it's for tomorrow, right? So let's make sure we understand what it is when you see the exclamation point. I'm going to write down a number with an exclamation point, and you're going to tell me what it equals. Okay? Or tell me how to figure out what it equals. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, here I go. Begin on my own. Here we go. 3 factorial. You just do that. Three times two times one. Start with three and multiply by every integer down. So that's going to be six. That's six. So three factorial equals six. Four factorial, or four bang. Which I think is way more fun to say. Bang. They haven't said it in many, many years, but I'm going to bring it back. Like Popped collars and plaid shirts. Four bang. This is the one you probably used in your lab, I would imagine. Four bang. 24, because it's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is 24. Cool. Five. Five. So you have to go all the way back to 1. To 1. That's the definition of a factorial, yes. What's 5? That's 5, by the way. I'm sorry. 5 bad. If you don't want to tell me what it is, tell me how to get it. Thank you. 120. These grow really freaking fast. Really, really fast. What is the like practical use in life? Not that you, but like. No, no. I love that question. Thank you. Yeah. So recently. It seems random. It, it does, but it's also random how randomly it shows up in things. Whenever you're counting, I'll give you a perfect example. How many of you put pins on your cell phones? When I say pin, you have like a little four-digit number on your cell phone to lock it? Who's got a lock on their cell phone? Who's worried about somebody cracking into their cell phone? Nobody? That's why you put a pin on it, right? How many of you have a four-digit pin on your cell phone? Let me ask you a question. What do you think is more secure? I don't, I don't want to know what you have on yours. Don't tell me that. What do you think is more secure? Having a four-digit pin where all the numbers are different or having a four-digit pin where you repeat one of the numbers. What feels more secure to you? Having four different numbers, like a pin like, like one, three, five, seven, or having a pin where something repeats like one, one, three, five? Which one seems in your gut feels more secure? Go ahead, Zach. Um, Gesundheit. Two of the same. Digits. Two of the same feels more secure to you? Anybody else? Two of the same? I don't expect you to know the answer to this right now. Two of the same feels more secure. All different seems more secure. Okay, that's, that's split. Now, how, how many of you are like, I don't, I don't know how to do this? Don't worry, this is a Math 105 question, just so you know. But it's in the news right now, because cell phone security is all over the place. It's actually more secure to have two the same than to have all four distinct. And the math behind it is explained using these. And we're going to do it in Math 105, I promise you that. There's also new cell phone security, where they're now thinking that thieves can use the accelerometer in your phone to figure out what your pin is. I, I don't really understand it because it's more physics than math and it's kind of out of my, above my pay grade. So encryption is a huge one where this shows up. 
That makes sense. That's just one example of many. But to give you an example, keeping your phone secure is an example of where this comes up. I cracked into a, uh, what the hell were they called back in the 90s? Back in the 90s, everybody got these, dig I, I never got one because it was stupid. Um, no, not pagers. It was like address books, but they were digital. Um, the, 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 the 90s were a wonderful time, those of you don't remember them. They were a wonderful time, and we were all confused, and we thought we were really cool, but we really were. <laughs> like, it, not at all. So there were these digital address books. Like, I used to keep an address. We still have one at my house, because we're old people, where we write down addresses and names and phone numbers, and it stays in our little, little sink, dry sink in our, in, our, in our office. Back in the 90s, everybody thought it was a good idea to have them digital. You know, there was these weird little things. They weren't cell phones. They weren't Palm Pilots. They weren't... Blackberries, they were literally just a digital thing that you had to slowly enter all the data into. And then once it was in there, you couldn't download it out or upload stuff into it. It was literally, and I, I asked my friends, like, why the hell would you ever get one of those things? It takes more time to them than just to write it down. And then my buddy one day forgot his password on his. He couldn't get into it. It was a password. And I said, well, what's the password on your, uh, on your, uh, on your, or, or how do you make the, you know, the other goes password. How do you make the password? Well, it's a, it's a two-digit number. I'm like, a two-digit number is the password to your address book? And he started, he's like, yeah, and I'm never going to get back in. And while he was lamenting the fact, I cracked it and handed it to him. Because I think it was 18. And he's like, how did you do that so fast? I'm like, it's a two-digit password. There's only 100 possibilities. I started with zero, zero, and I kept going until I hit it. And it happened to be 18. You might want to change that. It's this math again. Literally, like all that stuff is related to this math. So we'll, we'll have some fun with it in Math 105. It's, it's pretty rad. Cool? Great question, Annie. I appreciate that. Yes! Good? Let's have those bad boys and bad girls and bad homeworks. <laughs> yes! So, Annie, yes, this is a very, very weird little lab, and that in itself is not useful at all, right? By itself, it is completely useless. But here's the thing, and I know that, I know that though. But how many of you kind of enjoyed cracking the code? Yeah, I bet you did, didn't you? <laughs> You're so tight. You enjoy cracking the code because it's kind of fun. It's like a puzzle. Like, why do you do a puzzle at home? You don't, you don't get anything from that either, but you do. You do. You do problem solve, yeah? You problem solve. And, and that's what this really helps you do, is it gets you kind of into that problem solving. Guy. And you're also the little tools that will use to solve more problems later. Also questions. Not all. Here. Let's get you a warm up. I decided to make one more short warm up. One more fourth. You're going to make 34 using four fours and anything you want. Factorial, square root, normal rules, black box. I, I didn't mention black box, but if you want to use black box, no, no, you know what? Don't use black box. Because black box, you can just go four heart, four heart, four heart, four equals 34. <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> so no black box, but use square root and factorial all you want. How does that sound? There we go. And I gave you an extra credit option. Extra three points, make it a different way. What, what, what did I do? <laughs> you didn't hear the first time. I did it, I'm dead. Um, I wanted to get <laughs> Oh! We'll get one in my office. I'm sure I have more copies of it somewhere. I am too. Nice. 
doesn't make any sense at all. And it just doesn't. That's okay. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Yes. I get you all this stuff together. Turn this off now because you don't need to watch me returning papers.